Today, from the Marine Band Archives, we'll take a closer look at a few notable entries recorded in our logbooks. Since 1798, the Marine Band has played a prominent role in our nation's history. One fascinating window into that history is through our collection of daily written records. Beginning in 1916, the director, William H. Santelman, kept a handwritten diary, tracking the daily events of the band. Today, it's no longer the director who records the band's activities, but the operations office, which carries on the tradition by maintaining a handwritten account of our commitments. Let's take a closer look at some of our favorite historic entries. On December 24, 1929, President Hoover hosted a White House reception for the children of the White House staff, which included a 12-piece orchestra from the Marine Band. Not long after the party started, a fire broke out in the West Wing. Our records show here that though the executive mansion was ablaze, Santelman continued to conduct the ensemble. A White House account tells us that the First Lady calmly proceeded to supervise the event as planned, while firefighters raced to extinguish the flames. The fact that the orchestra helped maintain the festive atmosphere with music likely helped distract from the clamor outside. Presidential inaugurations used to occur in March. That is, until the second inauguration of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. On January 20th, 1937, our records show a normal proceeding of events for Roosevelt's ceremony. But director Taylor Branson made several notes about the rain. Heavy rain, cold in the morning, downpour all forenoon, slightly above freezing, downpour early afternoon, worst weather for any inauguration in my time. The rain must have been really bad, considering his 29 year career with the Marine Band. Also of interest is a set of very specific instructions from President Roosevelt regarding his inauguration ceremony, which he sent to the band. One of the most interesting logbook entries is from December 7, 1941. This, of course, is the attack on Pearl Harbor. The entry for this date shows that the orchestra was playing for a formal luncheon at the White House, and at 2.25 p.m., news came that Japan was conducting an air raid on Hawaii. The account continues, stating that Japan made a formal declaration of war on the U.S., and that President Roosevelt was to address Congress the next day. <laughs> 